Good morning, children of 9th standard. Today, I will teach you English Unit 1. This unit will be taken in two parts. The prose and supplementary will be taken in the first part. The poem and grammar in the second part. Now, let's go to the lesson Learning the Game by Sachin Tendulkar. The video will focus on text pages. So, you are asked to write down the answers for the questions that are given inside the textbook by reading the text pages on the video. This should be done by you as it will help you read the text and have a good revision. Now, let me give you the summary of the lesson. Learning the Game is an extract from Sachin Tendulkar's autobiography, Playing in My Way. He played tennis ball cricket with his colony friends from a very early age. He loved watching cricket on television and tried to imitate the mannerisms of his favorite players like Sunil Gavaskar and Viv Richards. It wasn't just about batsmen that Sachin studied but he also loved to bowl. Throughout his career, he had actually bowled a lot in the nets. Sachin was studying in New English School at Mumbai but his brother Ajit wanted him to study in Charadashram Vidya Mandir where Ramakant Achrekar was cricket coach. This school gave more importance to the game of cricket. Ramakant Achrekar ran summer cricket camps. One day, his brother Ajit took him to Achrekar to get trained well. It was because only Achrekar could decide who to accept for a trial at the camp. But the Tendulkar failed to make an impact on Achrekar, the coach. So the coach informed his brother that Sachin was too young to get into the camp but Ajit insisted him to give his brother another chance as he was nervous. So he was given another chance and the coach watched him batting from a distance. Seeing him batting well, the coach agreed to train him. It was an opportunity that transformed Sachin's life. His coach Achareka advised Sachin to change his school if he really wanted to pursue cricket seriously. In the first year at Sharadashram, Sachin played 55 practice matches during the summer break of 60 days. Achareka used to play a one rupee coin on top of stamps and ask Sachin to bat. If Sachin remained not out, Achareka sir would give the coin to him. Whoever Sachin tried to bunk practice session, Achareka sir came to take him to the ground. Had it not been for Achareka sir, Sachin would not be the cricketer he turned out to be. The coach was a strict disciplinarian and did everything he could for Sachin. Finally, Sachin says that he owes himself to Achareka sir. Now, let us learn about the author. The retired Indian cricket player Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar is considered as one of the greatest batsmen of all times. He was born on 24th April 1973 in Mumbai. He was introduced to cricket at the age of 11 by his brother Ajit Tendulkar. In 2005, he became the first cricketer to score 35 centuries, 100 runs in a single inning in test play. In 2011, Tendulkar achieved his dream of winning the Cricket World Cup at Vankade Stadium in Mumbai. He is the only player to have scored 100 international centuries and first to score double century in a one-day international cricket. He played 664 international cricket matches in total, scoring 34,357 runs. In 2012, Tendulkar was nominated to the Rajya Sabha. He retired from cricket on 16th November 2013. He is also recipient of Arjuna Award in 1994. Rajiv Gandhi Kail Ratna Award 1997, Padma Shri in 1999, Padma Vibhushan 2008 and Bharat Ratna in 2013. In one or two, uh, two sentences each, you must read the text and answer these questions. Now, answer the following questions in a paragraph of 120 to 150 words. So then please mark the questions as given in the video. Now, let us move on to the vocabulary section. Match the words in column A with the synonyms in column B. Now let's see. Ease. And the answer is effortless. Evolve. Progress. Excess. Surplus. Survive. Endure. Immense. Great. Now next section. Match the words in the column A with the antonyms in column B. That is the opposites. Concentrate. Distract. Inevitable. Preventable. Occasional. Continual. Complete. Incomplete, insane, wise. Now next is your assignment. 
here we will see the secrets of goal setting see you write clear and measurable goals to create a specific action plan for each goal read your goals daily and visualize yourself accomplishing them reflect on your progress to see if you are on target reverse your action plans if needed and celebrate your accomplishment with these points in mind write a paragraph for 100 words my goal what are homonyms homonyms are words with similar sound and spelling but with different meaning so use the words given below in your own sentence so as to get different meanings one is done for you i'll do the next two also the balance should be done as an assignment cricket cricket is a popular sport in the next sentence is a cricket is active at night next is bank i went to bank to deposit the river bank is polluted the next word is will my father wrote a will i will work hard the remaining three has to be done by you what are homophones homophones are words which have similar sounds but with a different spelling and meaning consult a dictionary to find the homophones for the given words in here then a homophone is i n n in the next is no here we write n o b the homophone for it is b e e b 2 the homophone is t w o and also t o o then what the homophone is w h a t the next is right the homophone is w r i t e and r i t e the next is where the homophones are w h e r e and w e a r the next is bear the homophone is b e a r the next is heard the homophone is h e a r d the next is thrown the homophone here is t h r o w n now what are prefix and suffix prefix are added to the beginning of a root word while suffix are added at the end look at the prefixes and suffixes given and frame two new words for each one of them one is done for you i will do one more the rest is assignment sub word one is subway subconscious un uncertain unclear please do the remaining as the assignment the next is suffix ly suddenly happily or inventor distributor the remaining should be done as an assignment now i'll read to you a passage and you listen to the passage on para olympics and choose the correct answer the olympic games began in greece about 3000 years ago all was stopped for the olympics in those days the discus and pentathlon began in these early olympic games in 394 the romans stopped the greek olympic games because they didn't like them in 1896 a french man pierre du cubertin began the olympic games again these days olympic games usually happen every four years but how did para olympics for disabled begin in 1940, Sir Ludwig Gutmann was a doctor at the Stoke Maryville Hospital in England. At the hospital, there were many disabled soldiers from World War II and Gutmann wanted the soldiers to get better by doing sports. Para-Olympics are younger than Olympics, but they are getting bigger all the time. The first two Paralympic Games happened in Rome in 1960. 400 disabled athletes from 23 different countries came to these Games. At being Para-Olympics in 2008, there were 4,000 disabled athletes from 144 countries. These days, these Paralympic Games every four years and because it's easier for Paralympic athletes to stay in Olympic hotels and to run in Olympic stadium, the Paralympics usually happen in Olympic cities. 2. Thinking of swimming with only one leg against people with two legs. Think of swimming with artificial legs. Think of playing basketball in a wheelchair. Disabled people can do some wonderful things. Now, let me read the passage and choose the correct answer. The Paralympic Games are for children, the disabled people, women. The correct answer is disabled people. The Paralympic Games usually happen in Greece every four years after Olympic Games. Every four years. The first two Paralympic Games happened in Rome in 
1960 1958 1968 1960 in 394 BCE dash stopped the Greek Olympic Games because they didn't like them the Romans Dash was a doctor, the Stoke Marable Hospital in England, Sir Ludwig Gutmann. Now, prepare a speech in about 80 to 100 words for the morning assembly, stressing the importance of games and sports in ensuring a healthy body and mind. Children, please do this as an assignment. Your friend who lives in a town or city has won a championship trophy, the recent sports meet. Write a letter congratulating him or her. Next is collect information from newspaper, magazines, periodicals and books about any two famous sportswomen preparing their profiles using the following format. One is already done for you. You will have to do the next assignment using Deepika Pallikal. The assignment regarding Saina Nehwal has already been done for you. Now creative writing. Write an article comparing two sports women and do it as an assignment. Now let us talk about reading. Folk culture and folklore of Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is deeply rooted in great tradition of folk arts and crafts which display the customs, skills that have come down from generations. Tamil Nadu has great aesthetic values and melody from the region. Now let us see some of the folk arts. Well, first is Karagatam. It is a popular folk dance of Tamil Nadu which evolves balancing a pot on a head to the musical accompaniment. The karagam pots are decorated with cone or flower arrangement topped by a paper parrot. The parrot swings as the dancer swings along. Next is Kavadi Atam. It is one of the predominant folk dances of Tamil Nadu. When the ancient Tamils went on pilgrimage, they used to carry offerings tied on the end of a long stick balanced on their shoulders. A Kavadi is made of bamboo strips and a light pole. To lessen the boredom of long travel, they sing and dance in praise of God. Next is Poikal Gudarayatam. Here they use the dummy figure of a horse on his or her hips. This folk dance needs a lot of training and skill. Next is Parayatam. It is a special type of dance in Tamil culture in which the performers beat the Parai and dance to the rhythm. In olden days, the Parai was used for multiple reasons ranging from warning people about upcoming war, requesting civilians to leave the battlefield, announcing victory or defeat, stopping a breach of a water body, gathering farmers for farming, warning wild animals about human presence during festivals, weddings, celebrations and worship of nature and so on. The next is Bommalatam or puppetry. It is held in rural areas of Tamil Nadu during festivals and fairs. Skilled puppeteers manipulate the puppet with strings or wires. They stand behind a screen. The puppets are held in front. The puppetry depicts story mainly from the Puranas, epics and folklore. The next is Terukuthu is usually conducted during village festivals. In the months of Adi and Panguni, Terukuthu is performed on the streets and in open air. In this dance form, makeup and costumes are considered very important. Next is Silambatam. It's a martial art form practiced from the days of the Tamil kings. It has metamorphosed into a non-violent form of folk dance, adding to the stepping styles into the dance to the measure of time. This martial art form also teaches the performer the methods of self-defense. Now next, let us see what is an anagram. An anagram is a word or a phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase typically using all original letters exactly once. See, lemon, you can change it into melon. Now, elbow, it changes into below, B-E-L-O-W. Section, changes to notices. Viewer, we can write it as review. Ripples, as slipper. Needless, as lessened. So, you can work with a partner as an assignment. Pick out two words from the article on folk culture and folklore of Tamil Nadu with which you can form anagrams. Now let us move on to the supplementary section, the envious neighbor. Now let me give you a short summary of this Japanese folk tale. A honest man lived with his wife. They had a pet dog which they used to feed with fish and tidbit from their own kitchen. One day, when the couple went to work to in their garden, the dog stopped at a place and started to bark. When the couple dug that place, 
they found gold and silver pieces being buried there. They gathered the treasure and after giving alms to the poor, bought themselves rice fields and corn fields and became wealthy people. The neighbors who were stingy old couple envied them and borrowed the dog to see if they could find any treasure with the help of the dog. They let the dog out into the garden. It walked along the garden without any barking for a long time. At last the dog stopped at a certain spot and began to sniff. They hastily dug out the spot and found only dirt and nasty things. Furious at being disappointed, the old couple killed the dog. When the good old man came to know that his dog was buried at the root of a pine tree with a heavy heart, he burnt incense and adorned the grave with flowers. That night, the dog appeared to him in his sleep and instructed him to cut down the pine tree where it was buried, make it into a mortar and to use it, thinking of it as if it were a dog itself. The old man did as he was told to do, but when he ground his rice in it, each grain of rice turned into some rich treasure. Seeing this, the wicked couple borrowed the mortar, but as soon as they used it, all the rice turned into filth. So in anger, they broke it and burnt it. One night, the dog appeared again to the old man in his dream, and it told him to sprinkle the ashes of the burnt mortar on with the trees. The trees would re revive and bloom with flowers. He obeyed the dog and instructed, bringing the dead trees to life. A certain prince utilized the power and gave him a rich reward. But the envious neighbors got thrashing from the guards of the prince when they tried to do the same act. Finally, when the good old couple heard of this, they sent for the neighbors and gave them a share of their own riches. After this, the wicked people mended their ways and led a good virtuous life after. Now let us go to the glossary or the synonyms. The highlighted words are the synonyms. Children will have to read this. Next is identify the character or the speaker of the following lines. They gathered the treasure. This was spoken by the honest old couple. The pine tree under which I am buried to be cut down and made into a mortar. The dog to the good old man. They dug and found nothing but a quantity of dirt and nasty offal. The envious neighbor. He had not to wait long before he was called into prince's palace and ordered to exhibit his power. The envious old man. Bow, wow, wow. The dog. Now, based on your understanding of the story, choose the right answers for the given option. The old farmer and his wife loved the dog. Option B. As if it were their own baby. When the old couple became rich, the option C. Lived a comfortable life and were generous towards the poor neighbors. The greedy couple borrowed the mortar to make the option C a pile of gold. Answer the following questions in a paragraph of about 80 to 100 words. Children, please mark the questions in the text and read them. Refer to what happens in the folk tale and complete the story with the help of hints given in the mind map. There lived a honest man with his wife who had his favorite dog and with its help got a treasure. There dealt a covetous and stingy old man and woman in the neighborhood. The wicked old couple seized the dog and killed it. They broke the mortar and burnt it. They collected all the ashes that remained and put them in a basket. With this, we have come to the end of the Part 1, Unit 1 English. Please remember your assignments. Marking the question and answers, writing a paragraph for 100 words on my goal, filling up homonyms, prefix and suffix, collecting information on Deepika Palikal, writing a comparison for 100 words with the information about these two sportswomen, writing anagrams. Stay home, stay safe, stay learnt. Bye-bye.